Hello everyone, this is Alejandro and here we will see how to create the Batman logo on a spline. So you can see this logo, it looks like this when you rotate the camera, it has like this really nice fade out. So we will see how to do this from scratch. All right, let's begin. All right, so the first step is to get a reference image. So I'm going to paste this image that I got from Google. This is the actual official image that DC used on the patent for this um, new Batman logo. So I'm going to click and reset this image position. I'm going to move it a little to the back. I'm also going to disable the grip and the snapping because I don't need those right now. And for the light, I think I'm going to, just to disable the helper so I don't see it there. Now I'm just going to zoom in a little and I'm going to lock this image so they don't so it doesn't move. I'm going to click here on the top for the vector tool and I'm just going to start tracing. For now I'm just going to make points. So point here, here, here. Good thing about this image is actually it's a it's quite easy, so I just need flat lines. Now at this point I don't see anything in here, so I'm going to reduce the opacity of this layer here. Now I can see and I can continue tracing. I'm not really going to focus on precision for this. So just going to finish the tracing. All right, so we have most of the shape trace. So you can hold the command key and drag and this will enable you to create a bend on the curve so let's just move it a little to match the curvature i will do the same here for this side so command and hold and drag by the way this might be a little different in window it could be the, the control key instead or the hold key all right so this is done so let me exit the vector mode Another thing that I want to do is that I want the pivot to be in the middle of this object. So I'm going to just, uh, enter inside the vector by double clicking it. And I know that the point is here because it was the first point. So I'm going to move everything to that position. Right. It's going to be just right there. So now my pivot is on the middle and I'm going to reset the position of this and I'm going to disable my image because I don't need it anymore. All right, so let's reset the camera. All right, now that I have the vector, I just need to work on adding the extrusion to make it in 3D. So I'm going to use the extrusion parameter here and it's gonna be somewhere around 2000. But I don't really want it to go in this direction. So what I'm going to do is that because this is the C axis, so I'm going to inverse the scale on the C axis to be minus one instead. So now the shape is going uh, in this direction, which is easier for me to control. So now let's work on the materials. I'm going to enable a red background instead. And now I'm going to disable the transparency by adding full opacity here. And I'm going to make this a very dark color, something like this. So now I want to work on the fading. So the idea is to have like a, a gradient that is going in this direction. So I'm going to use the depth layer, which is a 3D gradient. And now I'm going to change from radial to linear gradient. And instead of going from this side to this side, which is the X axis, I'm going to do it in the C axis, which is the one that is moving across the, the object. So now I'm going to adjust the handlers so we can have a fading. Yeah, somewhere around that to work. I'm also going to do the smooth type of uh, interpolation because I really want this to be really soft and smooth. So now I'm going to change this dark color to be red. Actually, I'm going to copy the, co the color from the background. So I'm going to put it here as here and also here as here. Now I want this to be transparent, so, so I'm going to reduce the alpha there. All right, so it seems like we're actually almost there. Now let's enable perspective mode in here. Yeah, it seems like we're almost ready now. I need to adjust a little bit here the colors because this needs to be a little darker. One thing that I want to do is that I want to have like a, a simple point light and I'm going to move it right here. So maybe something that looks like this. You know what? I'm going to reduce the opacity of the point light maybe also, maybe something like this. 
and let's make it a little red let's reduce the lighting in here yeah all right it seems like we have our logo so yeah you can obviously change the material or the color and you can find different kind of like versions or approach for making this so yeah this was a very fun movie so i hope you enjoy making this really cool 3d logo bye bye